Hey y'all, it's me back with another video. Okay, if I look like I've been drugged through death's doorstop, I'm you know I'm gonna just take that L today. And I know y'all gonna get on here and be like, "Oh, you so ugly, you ugly, you this, you that." I'm ugly today, for real, for real. Cause I'm just getting over a major migraine. And you know when, well, when I have a migraine, like I don't have no appetite. I've been trying to um, drink water. I wanted a soda. I know soda's not good. You don't need all that sugar. And I don't know if you, I think you're supposed to stay away from caffeine when you have a migraine. I don't know, y'all. But I've been drinking water and taking, um, them little migraine um pills if i don't feel any better by tomorrow i'll probably call my doctor and tell him that i need something but you know what i gotta tell y'all what happened yesterday yesterday i went to walmart and um i didn't really check this plant that good i should put on my glasses okay so let me show y'all the, the the one the one plant that I did get, and what is this? This is a, oh, a philodendron uh, Brazil. So it says he, he's from Brazil, and he likes low light. And I think he's going to need a pot, because those look like uh, roots growing out. I got this from Walmart yesterday. You know what? We're going to look at the roots because I think it's, uh, has, has it been watered? Oh, yeah, it's been watered because I gave it a little bit of water when I got it home. Let's see what the roots look like. Ha! Ah, we're not because it is root bound. Look at that. It's root bound and, yeah, it's root bound. I'm going to have to. Oh no, here it comes. I'm not going to. Oh, y'all not going to believe this. Look at that. Can y'all see that? This is how Walmart takes care of his plants. Look at that. Look at that. Not sure what that is because it don't feel like a root. Root bound. But let me tell you. How now I'm gonna have to get the vacuum cleaner. Get that stuff up. Let me tell you about the garden center. Oh yeah, I don't know what that is because it's sticking through uh, the plant. Let me tell you how the garden center was at Walmart. So I went to the Walmart in uh Martinez, California. And they they had some house plants on the inside of the garden center. The majority of them looked okay. It was some that looked really haggard. I mean, you know, like you wouldn't bring home. This was one of the, the decent looking ones. Out of the bunch of philodendrons, this was one of the most decent looking ones because all the rest of them had like... A bunch of brown leaves look like they had they had not been watered because it was super dry when I brought it home. I gave it some water when I got here, and I'm gonna have to put it in another pot really soon. The majority of the other plants were either on and this was inside the garden center. This was before I even went outside. They were either on death's doorstop. Or extremely close to it. So I said, well, let me go outside the the garden center and see if they have any house plants out there. Because what they had on the inside was really small. The selection was real small. Looked like they, you know, bringing in their fall, their stuff for fall and, you know, trying to weed out all of the stuff that they had for summer, you know, like the lawn chairs and all that kind of coolers and all that kind of stuff. They getting rid of that stuff. Summer is over, y'all. Summer is over, believe it or not. And we have not been to the beach not one time this summer because it has not been super, super 
hot here this i mean it's been decent but not you know hot enough for me to be sitting at the beach so we ain't go to the beach this summer but anyway i digress i went outside to um the garden center and you know how the garden centers at at uh walmart you know they are enclosed they have that little enclosed thing over them so the majority the ones that i've been to so the sun is not shining directly on the plants and it was plants out there that were completely dead i mean they had been fainted fell over turned brown some of them were so dead you couldn't even <laughs> you couldn't even tell what they were I, and i I felt bad. Like, I was like, oh, my God. Like, they're all dead. Like, they weren't all dead. But a huge selection of the house plants were dead. Now, the succulents and, you know, stuff that thrive on the outside, that type of stuff was, you know, the shrubs and all that stuff that um, annuals or perannuals or whatever they call them. They were still alive, but the house plants that they had put outside, like the uh, spider plants and the pothos, they had dead pothos, they had um, dead spider plants, um, just polka dot plants, dead, corn plants, dead, just a plethora of seriously deceased, and they had this beautiful um what is that plant that i like i can't think of the name of it right now but the, i know it was beautiful when it was alive but it was so dead i mean the whole middle section of the plant was still alive but like it had some um vines that were trailing down that were still alive but everything else Everything in the middle was dead. I mean, dead, dead. Like, Hoya. A Hoya. It was a beautiful Hoya. But everything in the center of the plant was dead. Like, I probably would have, you know, seen if they could have given me the plant, like, half off or something. But I just don't think it was enough um, of the vine left for it to survive. So I was like, no, like they had dead Hoyas, dead ferns, just all of these dead plants. And it's just crazy to me, like, why would they even have a garden section if you don't have anyone there to take care of the plants? And then the, the, the two women that were working in the uh, inside of the garden section they wasn't doing nothing but standing around gossiping about who had got fired last week. Like, them heifers should have been out there taking care of them dead plants instead of gossiping about who was fired and who didn't come to work and all this kind of stuff. That's why uh, Walmart is losing thousands because y'all losing money on them plants because they dead. I'm, I mean, dead, dead. I, I should have took a video, but I was just so amazed at the level of dead plants that I, next time, child. Oh, it's going to be a next time because Walmart, y'all are notorious for having jacked up garden centers, which is really messed up. And I think after a while, they probably going to phase the garden center out because I did talk to somebody at uh, one of the Walmarts and they said they just don't have nobody to, you know, really know enough about the plants to take care of them. That's why you come in and they just be in a disarray. Either they overwatered or they're underwatered or they're dead. And just like Target, Target used to have a garden center and they had those same problems and they discontinued the garden center at all of the Targets. And I know Kmart, they were having problems too. And I think they said it's only one Kmart in this area that still has a garden center. I'm not really sure, child, because I don't shop at Kmart. <laughs> That's what I don't do. No, I'm just kidding. I just ain't been in Kmart in a long time. But y'all got to do better with these garden centers because when people 
want plants. We want plants that are alive. We don't want to go to a store and see a bunch of plants that we know were cute when they're alive, but they are dead now. I mean, just dead. Just just then killed over, turned brown, crispy dead. And I was so hurt because, oh, I would have bought that Hoya because I have a Hoya. If you want to see her, she is beautiful. She is on my Instagram. She is doing very well at my house. And I got her from a Walmart, but it was in San Leandro. Beautiful Hoya. She has spiders now. I had to take her outside and, you know, dust her off real good. But, you know, that's the chance you take when you, you know, buy plants that live in a garden center that's like outside. So, yeah, she has spiders. I can deal with the spiders. But I can't deal with going someplace and the plants are dead. But y'all, let me tell you, I had bought a couple of plants from a grocery outlet. Um, let me show you. And I hope to God they ain't still on here. I, I bought her and uh, she was full of spider mites. And I didn't know, oh, she dripping because I watered her real good. I was looking up under the leaves and it was things up under there moving. Child. You know, I like to lost my that good part of my brain that, you know, I save for things that I like. That that part almost flew all out my head when I see oh. And then I have a sweet potato vine. That I got from Grocery Outlet too. Check your plants at Grocery Outlet. Because they is notorious for having uh, spider mites. That thing was full of spider mites. When I looked at Because I noticed that it was getting a lot of brown leaves. And I was like, why is she getting brown leaves? Flipped the leaves over. They just up on it there. I took her outside and, and doused. I You have to wash every leaf. Every single solitary leaf. To get them off. And then I put this uh, stuff in there. It's called uh, mosquito bits. And hopefully that killed them. But she's outside on the porch. She's not allowed back in the house. Until I know for sure that the the mites is gone. I'm treating her. I'm watching her. She 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 in a contamination uh, zone too. Um, I'm watching her real close. I'm going to give her a couple of days and I'm going to look at her. And if she doing, if I still see something, she going to go outside too. I can't deal with these spider mice. I mean, I know that that's, you know, plants have bugs and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not going to be able to deal with no bugs. I love plants. If you don't like plants, don't watch this video. After I didn't talk for 13 minutes, I'm telling you now. That this is about plants. And if you don't like plants, it is what it is. Because, um... Oh, let me show y'all a baby of what my Hoya... And don't look at my butt, okay? So, this is what the Hoya... Up, my Hoya upstairs looks like. The, I'm, I'm starting a, a new plant. I took a couple of pieces off of her. And see, she's a, a variegated... She got a little pink. Um, I don't know if you can really see it, but she's got like pink in her leaves. It's it's a beautiful plant. So this is this has only been in here a week. So I'm watching her real close because you know you, you gotta wait until it root, and then if it you know if it work out, then I'm gonna be like, I got a new plant. Okay, I'm finna go. I've been um, rambling for 14 minutes, and I'm sitting here trying my best to watch this uh, Bobby Brown story. I'm gonna have to catch it when it come back on at 8 because I missed the beginning. So, I will talk to you guys later. Okay, love you. Bye.